Hey, Premier 5 Math Projects, this is Coach Seifel with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into the final question of ratio math assessment paper, okay? And this question is, I think, the toughest one you've seen in the, uh, in the last five and so we're going to go deep into it right now. <laughs> okay, so let's read the question. It says cartons X and Y each contain some apples. Okay, imagine that cartons X and Y each contain some apples. Now, after 3 over 8... Of the apples in carton X were transferred into carton Y, the ratio of the number of apples in carton X to carton Y became 10 is to 13. The question is, what was the ratio of the number of apples in carton X to carton Y at first? Wow, looks pretty challenging to me, okay? So first step, we're going to write down X is to Y first, okay? <clears throat> and let's write down the final um, ratio which is 10 is to 13. This was after, am I right? So let's write down this as after. Okay. And what happened in between after and before? At first, sorry. What happened before that? What happened was they actually gave away, as you can see, 3 8 of the apples in carton X to transfer into, trans into Y. So it's 3 8 into Y. So how do you do this? How do you transfer? 3 over 8 here. <clears throat> so that means you take 3 over 8 and you move it to that side. Now let me ask you first of all, what do you think this 3 over 8 means? Basically they're saying there were 8 parts, am I right? So basically if you to draw it in a model, I'll draw it very quickly for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so there are 8 here. And at the end of the day what happened was, he took out 3, 1, 2, 3, and he passed it over to carton Y. So is 3 equals to um, uh, 1 of the 3 in the, in the 13? No, it doesn't. You see, because what happens at the end is, you are left with how many units? Can you take a look? You are left with 5 units. You are left with 5 units. That means before, in the carton X, there were actually... Um, sorry, after, there's supposed to be 5 units. After minusing, you have 5 units. But the ratio actually says it's 10. But wait, don't we see a pattern there? So in this case, what happened was 5 units actually equals to, let's write this down, 5 units actually equals to 10. Therefore, at first we had how many units? We had 8, am I right? Therefore, 8 units actually equals to, first you have to 10 divided by 5, you get 2. 1, equals to, 1 unit equals to 2, therefore 8 times 2 gives you 16. Therefore, 16, um, uh, what's it called? 16. You have 16. Okay. Again, if um, I went a bit too fast there, basically I, what I did was, I take 1 unit equals to 10 divided by 5, which equals to 2. Therefore, 8 units equals to 8 times 2, which gives you 16. Okay. So, that means at the start, it was actually 16. So, how many did he give away to this side? He gave away 6. Therefore, before that, minus 6. 13 minus 6 gives you? 13 minus 6 gives you 7. That, one, that means before that, the ratio is actually 16 is to 7. Okay, I think I got this really, 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 really uh, superbly messy. I'm going to do it again for you. Okay, it's a bit too small. Huh? Okay, x is to y. Again, Be, uh, after that, what happened? Let me take a look. After it was... 3, uh, blah, 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 10, 13. So if after that, it was 10 is to 13, am I right? But before that, it was 5, they give away 3 over 8. So like I explained to you in the models, what happened was, what we can write down is 5 over 8, actually, or 5 units equals to 10. Therefore, 8 over 8, which is the original number, equals to um, 16, remember? Therefore, actually, what... Before this was at least 16. This was after. This was before. If before was 16, and remember we gave this 6 over to 13, that means 13 minus 6 is going to give you 7. Therefore, the original it shows actually 16 is to 7. Voila. So how are we going to write it down in um, in uh, what they call in working format? All we have to do is basically write down before 
x equals to um, 16. y equals to 13 minus 6 equals to 7. Therefore, ratio equals to 16 is to 7. That is it. Okay. Again, this one is a bit more complicated. Uh, we have to use models, we have to use this and that. But again, like I said, if you believe in yourself, if you understand the topics, if you really learn it as much as possible, anything is possible. So with that, I'm going to, if, if you really got this right, I'm going to give you a big high five right now. That's the first thing. I'm going to give you a hug. I'm very proud of you. High five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. So with that, I am actually going to make sure that I'm going to leave you for this week with the most important quote so far, which is believe in you. Believe in you. All right. I believe in you. And I'm here to say that you, my friend, are a math prodigy. Good job.